Hello, today we're going to be talking about a function of Condition Monitoring Toolkit. The function is called BCM Configuration Wizard. This function enables you to configure the BCM or Bell of Condition Monitoring Sensor Severity Zone Monitoring based on ISO standards for motors, pumps, fans, and compressors. Uh, on this diagram, you can see how we have a Bell of Condition Monitoring Sensor, part number BCM0001 that monitors vibration in multiple axes connected to Balof's Condition Monitoring Toolkit, part number BAV002N, uh, over IO link. Now, the next step, what I'm going to show you is the dashboard of the Condition Monitoring Toolkit. Uh, the dashboard is web browser accessible, so you will need the IP address of your CMTK to access the dashboard. Next, uh, we're going to open up the settings menu, and before we continue, I do have to let you know that the, the for this example, the firmware revision of the CMTK is version 1.4.1. Okay, uh, next we're going to go to settings menu, and we're going to be looking at what devices are currently connected to my CMTK. Uh, so we can see here, device number one is BCM sensor, so we're going to select that. And here in this menu, you can see all of the different options that you can select from. Uh, the last option is BCM configuration wizard. But before we go into configuring the sensor, what I want to show you is how the sensor is currently configured. So under parameter, parameter data, we can look at the vibration velocity severity config. And if I execute read all, now we can see that the sensor is in its uh, default factory default state, which means nothing is configured for the severity zones. OK, now next we're going to go to BCM configuration wizard. And here we're going to basically select or add new configuration. And for step number one, we have to identify the type of machine that we want to monitor. So for today's example, we're going to choose an electrical motor. And then we're going to select the ISO standard that basically uh, covers the vibration standards for electrical motors. That was step number two. Uh, step number three is we have to identify the size or the power class of the electrical motor. So we're going to select a size range between 15 and 300 kilowatts. Uh, and then we're going to select the shaft height. So we're going to select a range between 160, between 160 and 315 millimeters of shaft height. And the next step is to specify the speed range of the motor. So we're going to select a range between 120 and 15,000 RPM, which is very broad. Uh, next step is to select how the motor is um, uh, is attached to the substrate or the mounting surface. Rigid means it's fixed, and elastic, elastic means that there is some sort of insulator or shock absorber. So for today's example, we're going to select the rigid mounting, and then we're going to specify how the sensor is mounted on the motor. And this illustration helps you visualize that. So we're going to say, okay, y-axis is pointing up, for example. So we're going to say, we're going to click on uh, next. And now, based on our selections, uh, we can see that the, the, the wizard, the configuration wizard, is giving us a graphic uh, that specifies different thresholds between the severity zones A through D. And what those severity zones means is illustrated here on the right-hand side. So what you want to do, a uh, recommendation, is to take a note of this uh, so you'll have it for reference later. Uh, but once we select Next, we can name this configuration. So let's just call it main motor. And we're going to save. And now we can see that we do have one configuration called main motor. Uh, we are using specific ISO standards for electrical motors. And the data transmission between the sensor and the CMTK is IO link. Now we also have an option to edit any information or configuration. And then we also have ability to delete this configuration. Uh, now, next thing is once we once we create 
the configuration, we have to click on deploy button. And what that does, that enables the software to push the parameter set or the new parameter set to the sensor. So when we execute deploy, the software is sending the information to the sensor. And then the next we'll see the confirmation. It says configuration was deployed successfully and we'll get a green LED. So that means that the software has sent the parameter set to the sensor. So now we can look at the parameters again. So go to parameter tab. We look at the severity zone configuration. We hit on read all. And now we can see that our severity zone parameters have been updated based on how we uh, configure, or based on the information that we used on the BCM configuration wizard. Uh, so that covers today's example. Hopefully it was beneficial. Thank you so much.